what we got here is a pot that nothing came up in. It was Jerusalem artichokes, and I believe they're almost impossible to kill, but I did it. What we're going to do here is here is my very neglected fajoa that I grew from seed. And he's got lots of sick looking leaves and he's got no shape to him. So we're going to repot him into here. The way we're going to do that is I'm going to put my shovel down, get my sick of tears, and let's have a look at the shape of him. He's leaning over a fair bit, so we'll stake it and get it upright. There's a big bend in this branch, so I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to shorten that one down. Lots of new growth on here, up here. But I really don't want it getting that tall. This branch is not looking terribly good, so we'll take it off nice and low, and we'll take this one off as well. In this way, I hope to get it nice and bushy, keep it small, and we'll also need to clean all these weeds out. I'm going to get this awful cloverish type stuff down here. And there's those horrible plastic labels. So we'll take him out of there. I'm going to leave that mulch in there. Maybe the Jerusalem artichokes will come up around it, but we'll see. I've already refurbed this soil, so we don't need to do anything more to it. We'll put some fertiliser around the top, just to give him a bit of a boost as he settles in. There we go. Let's take him out, it's a bit, bit dry. Nice little root bundle there, it's not root bound in any way, so we'll Drop him in there and get some more soil as well. But let me get some stakes so we can pull him upright a bit. Down the bottom here, we've got a lot of shoots coming out. So we're actually going to trim those off. That little branch here as we try to get a little bit more shape into him, or her, as the case may be. There we go. Let's get some more soil in there. Potty mix, whatever. I can't remember exactly when I planted this fissure, but it must be a couple of years ago now. So I'm wondering when if we're going to get any fruit from them. This is not my only one, I've got several. Also gave a heap away. All right, let's get a little bit of that mild MPK out and then some mulch on top. There we have it. One fajar trimmed back a little bit and in a larger pot. Let's see how he goes. I've only kept, I think, two of these floating around uh, because we tried a fajar that we bought from the markets and didn't really like it. But that's probably because we bought it from markets. It wasn't all that good. But we'll see how we go with these. For our next trick, we'll get this one out, which was my black currant. By the look of it, and again, I can grow these, but they do die on you. We're going to clear these weeds out, and we're going to put in one with a bit of a story. This is Alan the Apricot. I got Alan here from our uh, local Facebook free. Rufy, what are you doing? I got Alan here from our Facebook giveaway group. The lovely lady that had this has decided to get out of growing fruit, time constraints and those sort of things, so she's giving a few away. And I got this wonderful apricot, which actually has one apricot right here. I'll show you that later. But first of all, we've got to clear this pot out. It's this horrible clovery stuff in here again. We'll dig it up.
One thing I will say with this, it's probably not the best time to be doing it. However, I want to get it into a bigger pot. So we really should have waited for it to be dormant before we uh, repotted, um, rather than into spring and already a little bit of fruit on him, a singular fruit on him. But I'm sure it'll be okay. Gently pull him out. There we go. Just readjust that a little. Get him as central as we can. And upright. Nice pot. I shall put some of my younger trees in there. Get rid of this mild NPK around. I shall get a little bit of... This is my organic soluble potash. So we'll just put a little bit around here and then we'll water it really well in. A bit around the palm tree here. I think we need just a fraction more soil. Haven't buried them any lower, and it's a grafted one. And we'll water it in now, and then put mulch on. There's our apricot tree in his new home. We get plenty of sun here, but not too much. And if we have a close look, there is our one and only apricot. So for Joa, an apricot fruit tree diaries is now complete. Enjoy life, and I'll catch you in the garden.